Visual CMS. What is that, right? We think that when trying to understand something so new and so novel, it's best to start from a place of familiarity. Steve spent some time talking about headless CMSs, so we're going to start there. There are some incredible aspects and capabilities of a headless CMS, especially for developers. Headless and API driven means it's tech stack agnostic and great for performance and scale. Plugins and extensions to provide customizations that large scale organizations need. Roles and permissions to control views, access, and workflows across different roles and different teams within an organization. And then components. You can see the components are sitting as both a pro and a con. Why, you may ask? Well, it comes down to execution. We think a component focus is the right approach. But headless CMSs that are pushing for components are pretty prescriptive today, requiring developers to modify and manipulate their components to conform to the CMS. And of course, what happens if you don't have what the marketing team needs in your component library? Well, it's back to the development backlog to build more. Some of the other disadvantages with today's headless CMSs, like we touched on, major developer dependencies, limited to structured data. And so headless CMSs work with these abstractions of fields and schemas where you edit data in a form, you don't actually edit visuals and UI. These issues can have a significant impact on businesses. Developers are bombarded by requests that limit their ability to contribute to other business critical projects. Projects can take longer and some ideas never get built or tested and growth suffers. Friction between teams hinders collaboration and productivity. These problems with the headless CMS can largely be summarized by one word, composition. Headless CMSs are great from a technology perspective, but not for actually composing and building digital experiences that product, marketing, merchandising, and design teams need to move the business forward. So let's move to the other side of the spectrum now. What type of solution do you think a business user, a non-developer, like a marketer or a designer, would want and need to build pages or websites or apps? The answer is pretty simple, right? It's already well-defined in the ecosystem. Heck, this is what we saw at ShopStyle, like Steve said. There are countless site builders with Webflow, Squarespace, and Wix being some of the most popular, and they all fundamentally work in the same way. What you see is what you get. Drag and drop, baby. You grab something on the screen, you move it to where you want it, you change how it looks and it feels, you hit publish and it's live, and that's it. Now, there are some clear downsides of site builders, especially for large-scale digital businesses. You're locked into the capabilities and constraints of the platform. You can't adopt the latest front ends or back end services unless the platform supports it. And as your site grows in complexity, your site's speed and performance often takes a hit. These are all things that headless and API driven helps to solve. Okay, so what if we create a platform where the composition and building was as close to as possible, like basically indistinguishable from a Webflow, a Wix, a Squarespace, but also provides what developers value most from a headless CMS? API-based, component-driven, performant content management. An ideal developer experience where content doesn't have to live in code, you're not limited to structured data and hard coding everything as fields and schemas, though you can use structured data in a visual CMS if you want. But the recommended approach is for developers to create sections across their sites and apps that they want to allow the business teams to control. They have a design system that they hand over to the business team to use as building blocks. But if they don't have a code component for everything and anything anyone needs, well, you don't need to be blocked. A visual CMS offers visual development. It has primitive elements like text, images, video, carousels, tabs, accordions, and more, and a full Figma style editor with roles and permissions. So you can control who can make the needed bespoke experiences, which can be connected through design tokens so that everything is on brand. For developers, code is clean through a component and a design system approach. They aren't managing the marketing requests and the content and the structures of all these pages. Business teams are able to drag, drop, edit, iterate, publish, and repeat. It's the perfect combination for all teams across a digital organization. And that's the foundation of a visual CMS. It's headless, composable, scalable, API-driven, and connected to any tech stack that you need in a way that's most natural for development teams, while also providing business teams the ability to build and iterate to drive growth for the business. Now, while we've borrowed some of the best and most important capabilities from headless CMSs and site builders, there are actually some unique capabilities that are distinct to our visual CMS. The first is optimization capabilities around A-B testing and personalization. Building visually unlocks a lot of new value. Now that it's so much faster to create new experiences and to iterate, it's important for teams to easily be able to test the impact of their ideas and also personalize as much as possible. With A-B testing, you'll find that current solutions largely fall into two buckets performant, but developer dependent, or marketing driven, but bad for performance. With Builder, you get the best of both worlds. Marketing can build any experience, the tests are delivered in a performant manner, and once you choose a winning variation, you're done. There's no rebuilding anything. 
And of course, all the A-B test data can be delivered to any analytics platform or BI system. For personalization, your customer data, whether sitting in internal tools, the browser, a CDP, it's all just a data source. You can feed that data source into Builder by setting up attributes, such as logged in versus logged out, first time versus repeat visitor, have behavioral segments, and so much more, and personalized experiences for individual visitors to your site or app in a performant manner delivered from the edge. Lastly, unlike a headless CMS or DXP, a visual CMS is not rip and replace. It works with your existing tech stack and is incrementally adoptable. You don't need to go rebuild your front end based on all these new fields and schemas. You use your existing design system, use your existing component library, bring in any data source, whether it's a commerce platform, a CDP, a homegrown tool, or even another headless CMS. With Builder's Visual CMS, you can just use what you already have. If you decide to re-platform, no big deal. Being API-based provides the needed flexibility, and any content created in Builder's Visual CMS, like heroes, banners, landing pages, well, that content can seamlessly migrate to your choice of front end. No rebuilding necessary. It's truly full stack future proofing. Visual CMS is the future of content and digital experience management. Build your way, build faster, and build together. The impact that Visual CMS can have on your organization is extraordinary. Let business teams self-serve their requests and increase developer capacity to tackle other business critical projects. Remove interdependencies and bottlenecks from the content development process so teams can build faster and speed up their build measure learn cycles to drive faster growth too. And boost team morale. Enable teams to work more autonomously while also collaborating more efficiently, leading to higher productivity and happier teams. Okay, that's enough talking for now. We think that seeing is believing, so I'm excited to pass the mic back over to Steve so he can dive into the product and show you what's possible with a visual CMS. Steve, take it away. 